Tigers hockey enters the postseason looking better than they have in more than a decade. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, Fat Tuesday is in full effect. There's gumbo and music right now at Warren Station in Keystone until 5 p.m. At Copper Top Bar in Breckenridge, the Mardi Gras King and Queen are holding court until 5.30 when they lead a procession to the Riverwalk Center for food, drink, and live music until late. Entry to the Riverwalk is free. A contentious new hotel at Peak 8 and clock tower demolition are on town council agendas in Breckenridge and Frisco tonight. In Frisco, council learns how much it will cost to demolish the clock tower just west of Town Hall. Staff recommends spending no more than $40,000 on the project, with no timeline yet for demo or proposed replacement for the tower. In Breck, council hears the latest on master planning for a project known as East Peak 8 Hotel. Developer Lionheart Capital, as LH Mountain Ventures, wants to build 49 for sale condos, 28 lock and 137 hotel rooms on 4.18 acres, currently home to the Resort Administration Building. Today's discussion is for review only. Both meetings begin at 7 p.m. Downtown Frisco is running out of empty, undeveloped land, and developer Nathan Glassman owns one of the final parcels on one acre between 2nd and 3rd on Granite Street. We just believe the town has, along with us, has so much potential to really affect the, the greater needs of the community if we work together. That was Glassman at an open house earlier this year when Frisco first explored a public-private partnership to develop his property and two neighboring parcels owned by the town. Tomorrow, Frisco holds a second open house with conceptual designs for all three parcels. That's tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. at the First and Main Building. Those parcels were ID'd in 2017 by a housing task force, and development coincides with summer updates on Granite Street like new sidewalks and rec paths. Groundwork continues in the cold on a $75 million Vail Health Medical Complex at the corner of U.S. Highway 6 and Dam Road in Dillon. Opening day is still a year and a half away in fall 2021, and Craig Cohn with Vail Health promises more than just another hospital. New crosswalks and new ADA ramps and sidewalks that wrap around the property and sidewalks that will connect to the neighboring residential properties and then ultimately on to downtown Dillon. How much are they spending on public infrastructure? We are deep into the six figures with um, about a thousand lineal feet of sidewalk and a lot of curb and gutter. What about traffic at an intersection that already sees 16,000 vehicles per day? And we've also made a, a contribution to the town to help them with some of their transportation needs as we know that this site will increase traffic to this portion of Dillon. Cohn says talks of an elevated sidewalk over Highway 6 will most likely be scrapped. That is CDOT's realm, and he does not believe the agency is interested. Summit High Hockey is ranked number 13 in the state, the team's best finish in at least a decade, and tonight it's time to prove they earned it. Second year head coach Joey Atsuka. We can't forget why we were so successful. We're successful because we've got the discipline to stay within our system. The Tigers have dominated all season, tied for third best record in the state, plus an overtime thriller against Glenwood to claim the league title. What really I think propelled us over was our players' desire to win. They just wanted it more. Atsuka's team has firepower. They're ranked first in the state for power play scoring opportunities, but he admits they start slow. We are at the bottom 10 of either how many goals we score in the first period or how many goals we give up. What was coach's advice before tonight's opener against Castleview? Same thing he said all season. Let's not look for shortcuts. Let's not try to make things easier. You're never going to have a, a perfect opportunity. Tigers hockey plays Castleview in Breck tonight, 6 p.m. at Stephen C. West Ice Arena. In sports, the Nuggets play the Pistons tonight at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, the Breckenridge Vipers have canceled their two-game homestand with the Texas Titans this weekend. The Vipers play again March 6th and 7th for Park City at home. Once more, Summit High Hockey opens the postseason tonight against Castleview. Puck drop is 6 in Breck. Tomorrow, boys basketball plays Holy Family at home in first round of the 4A playoffs. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.